And I'm here at DePaul University, Greencastle, Indiana, my alma mater. Um, they're opening a new school of business and leadership. So I also spoke with Inclusive Capital's Jeff Ubbin about the challenges of the digital economy, AI, and this overall impact of algorithms on financial markets. Everything about digital economy kind of sucks, you know, really, when you think about it. Like, we, we thought we could get a, our ticket online through, uh, through a digital ticket, Ticketron, but it turns out the chatbots beat us to it, and now we've got to pay $10,000 for Taylor Swift. Uh, that's ridiculous. You know, we thought, you know, we... You come to we, the Vikings-Kansas City Chiefs game... Uh, this Sunday, you might see her. If you... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> speaking of speaking of the online search algorithm, Taylor Swift, right? So the idea was the internet was going to surface a lot of lesser known ideas and and product, but in reality, what it's done is it's made the better known, given the better known products and people more attention. Thus the summer of Beyonce and Taylor Swift. Right. Yeah. And, and so we're getting these perverse outcomes from this digital economy. We could, we could do a bank run in a day, right? That's, that's not cool. That's not good. Yeah. So the whole idea of slowing things down, thinking twice, is the, is, the, is, is, is the opposite of where we're going. And it may, like I said earlier, be exactly what we need, but it is an un- movable force. This is just what happens. These tech guys, they ask for forgiveness, not permission, and they just go. And AI is going to rob. It's, a, it's fake to begin with, and it's going to rob us of creativity. What do you mean it's fake? It's, well, it's all, it's all input. It's borrowed input. Right. It's borrowed input, no matter what you say. And so it, as, as it gets built over the years on borrowed input, you're going to have less and less of the regenerative force from the, from the outside the system beauty of, of content creators. You're going to have less of that. So Simon Rich came to talk to UTA last week. He was a, he was a writer. He was the seventh writer hired at 25 years old at SNL. And then he went on to do two uh, Pixar movies. Uh, he's 37 years old. He wrote a book called I Am AI. Um, his buddy, I guess, is, is at Open, a, Open AI, Dan somebody. Um, so he's kind of right there watching what's really happening behind the scenes, which is DaVinci version 3.0 is way smarter than what we're getting here at ChatGBT because it's just ChatGBT's dumbed down. They want to they want to show it to us slowly. Okay. And they're going to launch the, the 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 you know DaVinci 5.0 in January 2025. That's the that's the Armageddon right there. That's the apocalypse. Um, but you're not to, apocalyptic according about to, uh, climate, but maybe I AI. am on this one. I am on this one. Okay, and it's not because it's going to kill us or anything like that. But but uh, what? Um, but what Simon says is that 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 he would never be hired as the seventh writer in SNL. That's going to be outsourced to AI. So the the, the existing showrunners, Shiana Rhimes or whatever, they're going to be great for the next ten years because they're going to be super productive. But where's the content going to be after that? So you had this, so to me, AI is the, you know, we, we keep moving to shorter and shorter term time horizons. The stock market, when I got involved, was the holding period was seven years, then it was five years, and then commissions became free, which is, again, speed, uh, efficiency, um, fast as possible. You're talking about Robin Hood here. And yeah, and so and, and once, once, once trading is free, the computers take over. They just do. It's data sets, it's computers. You know, trying to read something ahead of the next computer. That's, they, they have put me out of business, and their time horizon for the average stock is three months. Seven years to three months in my lifetime. Is that, is, that a, is that a discounting mechanism, or is it just a voting machine, a voting system, you know? So we have, the digital economy is fraught with risk. We just don't see it. And, and to, to, to celebrate AI, it's gonna, it's gonna gut, it's gonna hollow out the, create the creative industry but, but it's going to be super productive for the next few years. Mm. And that's what we're celebrating, the super productivity of this thing that's robbing us of our creativity over the next three years. And we love it. 